Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we'll be talking about selectors in Apex Utility AI. Now, selectors are the top level elements in the AI, and in the uh, editor, they are represented by these large boxes that you see here. The job or purpose of the selector is to select the next action to be executed um, in the AI. Now it does this by selecting between its children, um, which are called qualifiers. It will then select uh, based on an algorithm. Uh, there are some different ones, we'll get back to those in just a second. And then uh, once it has selected a qualifier, that qualifier's associated action will be executed. Qualifiers and actions will be covered in uh, separate videos. So, um, it will always start with a root selector. This is the one we see here. This is the one with the blue text. Um, this is where the AI will start, and then it will branch off to other selectors um, if uh, need be. I mean, you can have an AI with just a single selector, or you can have an AI with multiple selectors. Now, the way they select um, the next action depends on the type of the selector. There are two built-in types. The first is the highest score wins. This will pick the qualifier that scores the highest. So it will basically look through all of the qualifiers um, that it owns and then it will pick the one that scores the highest. The other type is called first score wins. This is an early out type of selector which means that it will um, score each uh, qualifier uh, in sequence until it meets a qualifier that scores above the score of its default qualifier. So in this example we have a default qualifier with a score of 1. So if any of these score above that, the evaluation will stop there and it will return that qualifier. If none score higher than the default, then the default will be selected. The qualifiers inside of uh, a selector can be rearranged. Um, for the higher score wins, this doesn't really matter because, as mentioned, it scores all of its qualifiers. Um, but for the first score wins, it matters, obviously, because it does it in sequence. So you will want the, w the qualifier you want to be evaluated first to be at the top. If you create your, your selector and then you have them out of uh, sequence, you can simply move selectors up and down um, using the drag handles. Uh, to the left side of the qualifier. The selector also has a context-sensitive menu um, that allows for certain actions. You can add additional qualifiers or you can change the type of um, the selector. So changing a type you will get uh, an option to choose from other types uh, of qualifiers, sorry, of, of uh, selectors. For the non-root qualifier, there is an additional option to set this qualifier, uh, sorry, this selector again as the root. So that's it for the built-in um, selectors. Next, we'll be looking at how you can implement your own selectors. To do so, um, you will uh, derive a class from selector, which is the base class for selectors and then implement a single method which is given the context. If you haven't already watched the video about the context, you should do so because that is a very central part of the AI. In addition to the context, it is also given its list of qualifiers and its default qualifier. The task to do in here is then to select between the qualifiers and select the one that matches whatever logic you want to have here. So, for instance, let's say we want to create a uh, lowest score wins instead of highest score wins, then we would simply loop through all of our qualifiers, evaluate their scores, pick the one with the lowest score, and return that. And if none of the qualifiers um, match um, your criteria, then you should always return the default qualifier. Now lastly, there is one additional method that you can um, include um, or overwrite. It's called clone from. 
Um, this enables the qualifier to clone settings from other, sorry, the selector to clone settings from other selectors. Um, it is mainly used if you change the type of a selector so that you don't lose whatever uh, state it has. Um, so if you have state on your selector, you can then implement this method and then you can clone from the other selector if it has any properties that are shared between the two. This is not a requirement at all, um, but it is uh, so you can implement it if you have some state. Now regarding state, it should be noted that the AI is stateless, meaning that for the actual uh, evaluation, uh, all state is contained in the context, but elements can still have state that govern how they do their selections. So this one could have, could have some state that governs how it selects between qualifiers. That's it for selectors. In the next video, we'll be looking at qualifier. See you there.